Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. So today's one of them days. I'm having a flitter brain. I'm going from one job to another to another. And <laughs> I'm leaving a mess behind me. So I've stopped and I'm coming back to clear up what I'm doing. So between us, Mr. Wallflowers and I have been boiling some garlic and turn it into garlic water to feed the plants so we we've done a few sessions of it and this is the last one for t for today and um, we're feeding the plants with it um hopefully it helps deter slugs rats any other um insect repellents uh, of any kind so hopefully it looks after the vegetables for us um, scary thing was Mr. Wallflowers went out to work the other morning and as he left the house he saw a big rat cross the road uh, from one side, a bit further up not near us, um, to the other side and just creep down the garden gate side and it played on my mind a little so we've started with the garlic and hopefully that deters but we also came across something else um, as you know I don't use any um, chemicals in the garden um, and I've been looking at something to use for fertilizers for the plants that is somewhat organic um, and more natural than actually buying a chemical of some sort so I came across um, using lentils. Um, we all have always have a good supply in the pantry of lentils um, and generally it's always red lentils. I have been looking for dried green lentils but I don't come across them. Um, I come across them in tins and I tend to get them from the food initiatives that way. But I'm keeping eagle-eyed looking out for green lentils because apparently that's better as a garden fertiliser um, than red lentils is, although both can be used. Um, so I'm keeping an eye out. So what you do is you basically put some lentils in a pan, cover them with water. Um, one cup of lentils to one litre of water. Yeah, and what we do, we don't just, bring it to the heat or anything, no, do we? Just, we just leave it sitting cold. Just stir it round. And stir it round. It cloudy. And then, um, sift the lentils out and the water you have left is a good nitrogen fertilizer for plants house plants veg plants whatever can use a nitrogen fertilizer so we will be checking each plant is suitable for nitrogen uh, before we add it so that's another thing we're looking at we also managed to get um two four pinters of double cream um cattle managed to pick it up for me uh, from the food initiative and she brought it across for me so we made some butter and this is a lovely little gadget um we managed to get off amazon uh quite a few months ago now wasn't it and this is the first time we've used it so if i just rinse my hands through We've made the butter as normal in the KitchenAid. Um, it's since sat in the fridge overnight um, to firm off. And all that I'm going to do now, and this is basically um, in sticks. Now in the UK, we don't buy our butter in sticks like this. We actually buy it in half pounds, don't we? 200 and something, 200 and something grams um, and the American recipes mostly that I follow off YouTube etc always talk about butter and sticks um, and now I can actually have butter sticks which is quite cool for me really um, so literally just empty it out the mould and place it in my Ziploc bag. I'm probably supposed to um, wrap these in parchment paper, but 
What you reckon, Mr. Wolf? Mm, I was twos or fours. Four, because they're not going to stick together. Yeah. Um, and pop these in the freezer, and I'll be able to take them out a stick at a time. And um, so this um, another tray um, was literally just half a bottle of the four pints of cream. So that goes straight in the freezer if I can find some space. Um, that'll go there. So that's the butter one that we're doing. I'm also in the process of trying to make myself a sandwich and I've picked a salad from the garden. Um, I've just, just a small salad um, from the garden. So I've picked some spinach seeds, some parsley, some chives, a little bit of mint. Um, and the lettuce is not fruit through yet, so I just managed to get two little leaves of the lettuce. And I shall add to that whatever I found in the fridge, along with my ham. Um, I've got a little bit of potato salad, which will be quite nice. Mr. Wallflowers isn't hungry because he had a late dinner. Um, so he's literally going to have dips and crackers, which you all know if you watch the channel it is Mr. Wallflowers' go-to. Um, we'll just cut the camera and I'll pop into the garden and explain why I've got paint all over my hands because I've started yet another job. <laughs> so another one of the jobs I've been flitting back and forth to is starting to paint the garden furniture. Um, and again, my friend Carol always looks after me. Um, she rummaged these out of her shed and had the tin and a half of the, of the black outside paints available. And she asked me what I like and I said yeah I can do the garden furniture. So I started with the back of the chair and the legs and as you can see in comparison to the next one it's starting to begin it to look a whole lot better. Um, so hopefully tomorrow afternoon while Mr Fallsflowers is at work I can sit out and do the rest of this chair. I'm just taking my time I say flitting from one job to another, I start a job and then need to go and have a rest and sit down and yet another brew um, and then when I get up I'm <laughs> starting another job. Do you ever have days like that where you just flip from job to job and you know the, there seems to be no continuity but I'll come back and I'll refinish each job so Mr Wallflowers is trailing behind me doing the garlic water, telling me that I need to finish the lentils off so they can get done but in between I do need to eat. <laughs> so yeah. And we've um, covered the sweet corn with the Yeah, nah. we covered the sweet corn with the straw as well. So they're looking okay. Um just a thin layer really of the straw, not too much, so the soil's still breathing. Um but they're all upright still and everything seems to be happy. Except for the pigeons. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tidy my mess up. I'll eat my sandwich. Um, sit down and relax for the evening. And any jobs I haven't finished today, I'll come back and finish tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully I've got a bit more organisation to me. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye.